Let's learn how to add row repeats for our charts and written instructions. I recommend watching the intro to Smart Counters tutorial first. Row repeats are used when you need to repeat a subset of rows a certain number of times before continuing on to do the rest of the piece. Here we have charted instructions and there are several groups of rows that need to be repeated. The written instructions require these same repeats. To begin, tap Setup. I'll start with the written instructions, so I select that piece. And to add row repeats, tap the Smart Counter button at the bottom. Here in Smart Counters, we can set some basic information about our piece, including how many times we want to repeat the entire chart. It is set to zero by default, which will allow unlimited repeats. Unless you know for sure you want to stop at a specific number of repeats, I recommend leaving this at zero. To add a row repeat, tap the blue plus on the right and select row repeat. You will see a new repeat is added at the start of our instructions. For written instructions, we always start at the top and work down. For this repeat, we want to repeat the first row six times. My repeat is already covering the first row, so I'll enter six for the number of repeats, and I'll set my color for this repeat to blue. As we look at the instructions, we see we need to repeat rows 13 to 14 eight times total. So we'll add another row repeat for this section by tapping the blue plus and selecting row repeat. We see our new row repeat has been added right below the first one. We need to drag it down to 14 and then drag the top down to 13 so it is covering rows 13 to 14. We will set the repeat count to 8 and I'll make this one green. Now let's return to main setup and do these same steps with the chart. Tap the arrow upper left to return to main setup. I'll select my chart and tap the Smart Counter button. Here we can add row repeats the same way. Tap the blue plus and select Row Repeat. This time our first row is at the bottom. For charts, we always work bottom up. We want to repeat this first row six times and I'll set the color to blue. Tap the blue plus and pick Row Repeat to add our second repeat. It is created by default right above our last repeat. Drag it up to row 14 and drag the bottom up to 13. I'll set the repeat count to 8 and the color to green. Tap the arrow upper left to return to main setup. And when you're ready to start knitting, tap Knit. Here we can see the outlined repeat sections on the chart and on the written instructions. And our one tap marker gives us additional information about our progress in the repeats.